All right, everybody. Welcome to the first ever episode of my podcast. Um, it is Tuesday, March 3rd, 2020. And today is National Wildlife Day, so I'm going to rank my top 10 favorite animals, starting at 10 and working my way down to number one. Uh, I put a lot of work into this list, so I hope everyone enjoys this. We'll start with number 10. It's going to be really quick, just a couple facts, reason why I like the animal, and then we'll keep going down. So number 10, koala bears. Uh, The reason I like them, uh, they can sleep for 18 hours a day, which would be frigging amazing. Uh, They can weigh between 14 kilograms or 30.86 pounds. So that's pretty cool. All these facts I got from National Geographic Kids because the adult version of National Geographic, I'm not smart enough to understand that language. Uh, Number nine, zebras. No two set of stripes on a zebra are alike. So it's very much like fingerprints for humans. I think that's pretty cool. Baby zebras, they can walk just 20 minutes after birth. That's also pretty cool. You know, most humans, they can't walk for a long time. I couldn't walk till I was about 15. Uh, number eight, we have a panda bear. Pandas can eat up to, excuse me, pandas can eat for up to 12 hours, which I think that's pretty cool. I'd love to eat for 12 hours. And 99% of their diet is bamboo. So that's also pretty cool. Number seven, we have a great horned owl. Not only do these uh, creatures, they look badass, and the picture on National Geographic was actually quite scary. It made me jump. And according to National Geographic, it sounds like who, who, ho, who, who. Now, I don't speak owl, believe it or not, but I don't know. Maybe owls would understand that if I said it. I think I said it pretty good. Number six is a moose. Uh, Moose are pretty cool. I love when you see them in the wild, you know, they look all badass. They can weigh uh, about 1,800 pounds, so that's pretty big. Wouldn't want one running after me. And their antlers can spread six feet across. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Number five, we're at the halfway point, you know, coming down. These are going to be the elite of the elite. These are the best animals in my world. I love them. They're so cool. Number five is an elephant. There's actually three different types of elephants. There's the African savanna elephant, the African forest elephant, and also the Asian elephant. I love all three types. Maybe that's cheating. Maybe there should have been three different spots, but I don't think so. I think we can classify all those as an elephant because they are all elephants. They also spend about 12 to 18 hours eating, which I can relate to. Number four is a tiger. Uh, The tiger's lifespan in the wild is about 10 years, and it's twice as long in zoos. Now, Anytime I've ever gone to a zoo and I've seen a tiger, they're looking depressed. They don't want to do anything. I feel bad for the tiger. And I would love to see one in the wild, like from afar, obviously, because I think that'd be cool. Uh, But, you know, they're living longer in zoos, so I don't know. I don't know. Uh, And they're also similar to the zebra in that no two pattern of their stripes are the same. We're on to number three now. Uh, And it's a goat. Not only do they look cool, but they also sound cool. And on to number two, we have a monkey. I love all kinds of monkeys. The reason I love monkeys, they're loud, they're fast, they're cute. They would be a great pet. If I were able to get a monkey, I would love to have a monkey. I don't think I'm allowed to have one. I don't know how I would go about getting one. There'd be a lot of work, which would suck. Like, Curious George, he has a lot of work for that dude in that yellow suit and the yellow hat, you know? He's a lot of work, but I think I'd be willing to put in the work to have a pet monkey. And now, on to number one, the best animal for me, Hayden Remillard, are turtles. I love turtles. When I was in the Bahamas, This past winter, I saw a lot of turtles, and I love turtles. They're my favorite. I wish I was able to feed them. And according to National Geographic, all eight eight types of sea turtles are threatened or endangered. So that sucks. I want to save the turtles. I mean, I'm not going to go as far as to not use a plastic straw, because I like plastic straws. I prefer them over paper. 
But you know what? More turtles saved the better. And one more fact here, or not, I guess not a fact. I own two turtles. And they're pretty great. So that finishes up my top 10 animals here on World Wildlife Day. I was scrolling through Twitter. I saw this. I'm like, you know what? This is going to be a great episode. First ever episode of this podcast. I know it's short. Maybe I'll start doing more of these if uh, if everyone leaves me positive feedback. And they're just going to keep getting better and better as we go along. So thank you for listening. And have yourself a great day.